My name is Ann Garcia, and I'm the office manager here at the Kennewick Service Location for Labor and Industries. My name is Isabel Martinez, and I'm a customer service specialist. We have about 54 people who work in our office. A lot of our staff stay really busy at the front counter. We know a little bit about every program that Labor and Industries puts out. Because we never know what's going to be coming in the front door. Our field people are very in contact with us. They're very open and answer our questions so that we can answer the questions at the counter. But there are days that go by when we don't see them at all because they're just, the inspectors go straight to work from home and are just out in the field doing the work that is needed from them. I'm Levi Tomier. I work for the Department of Labor and Industries. I'm a crane specialist with the Region 8 Crane Department at LNI. I've been with the Department of Labor and Industries Crane Safety Program for five years. I've been in the crane industry business for excess of 21 years, building specialty cranes for job-related activities. Hi, Bruce. Good morning. Levi, Department of Labor and Industries with the Crane Safety Department. Good to meet you. This is a one-of-a-kind crane, the only one in the world happens to be in the beautiful city of Pasco, Washington. It will lift 3.5 million pounds. Once it leaves here, we'll probably never see another one. Our crane program started due to the collapse of the Bellevue Tower crane in 2006. Washington legislators enacted a RCW starting our crane department within LNI. There was a fatality that occurred to a gentleman that wasn't even on the construction site. He was in an apartment complex across the street and when the tower crane collapsed it fell into his apartment and killed him. So Bruce let's uh, go up and uh, inspect the engine room and make sure everything's okay up there. Okay. The collapse of the Bellevue tower crane really shed some light on people not doing the correct things. What we look for while we're doing a safety inspection in the engine room is, like I said, any tripping hazards, hydraulic fluid level. We look here for the hydraulic fluid level. There's cranes every day that expose personnel. When a crane falls over, depending on how much boom it has, like this crane here today, 400 feet of boom, if it tips over, it's gonna impact a lot of people's lives. We're gonna climb approximately 200 feet up in the air to uh, inspect a all the moving parts, bolts, connection points of the gantry. And we're off. So now we're climbing up the uh, LTL 3000 crane. We're going to climb up and uh, gain access to the uh, gantry ladder and climb the gantry. Come up each level as you're at each level stop for a minute look up connection points LNI is one of the uh, leading programs that has a quality uh, crane inspection program and we're proud of that and we want to make sure that our management knows that and that we're here to make Washington a safer place. Being a crane inspector for the Department of Labor and Industries, you can't be afraid of heights because that's 90% of our job climbing at heights. Woo 
a lot of people think that think of LNI as kind of a faceless agency. The people who work here are really dedicated to the work they're doing. They know how important it is to ensure people's safety at work. All seven crane inspectors are dedicated to our jobs. Um, crane, cranes are in our blood and uh, we strive to make our industry safer.